Hello, Dr. Jeff Johnson coming to you from Denver, Colorado. Today I would like to talk to you about um, a second part of root canals. In the first part of a, a video we described what a root canal was. Second part of a root canal, I want to kind of get it a little bit more involved and in detail. I mainly want to talk about what happens after the root canal. Um, after the root canal is done, you want to see uh, a, an abscess lesion dissolve and the only way you can kind of see it not necessarily dissolve but rebuild uh, the bone um, around the roots of the teeth is, is x-ray it six months down the road, a year down the road and see how things are going. Um, sometimes you don't see uh, anything happening and uh, these things don't don't resolve or they may resolve and get better and then get worse. Um, so root canal sometimes can uh, not take if you wanna if you wanna say that um, and where the bacteria just you can't get it all out and uh, it, 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 it can be a, a, a troublesome thing. Uh, the problem is is you don't you don't feel you know you don't feel this until it gets really really bad. Uh, you don't have any nerve inside the tooth anymore from the root canal. So what what do you do about this? Well, there's two options. Uh, number one is to uh, retreat the root canal or to take the tooth out. Now, retreating the root canal is usually done by a, a dental specialist called an endodontist. And what they do is they go in and remove all the existing root canal filling and they clean more and they, they try to try to get more bacteria out of the tooth roots and then they refill it. So this is called an endodontic retreatment. Another thing they can do is they can go in through the side of the bone and cut off the little root tips and try to rid the bacteria that way as well. And that's a um, little bit advanced procedure, um, but uh, it's, a, it's a surgical procedure where they they cut off the tip of the root and hope that we get healing in the bone. Um, what causes root canal, you know, root canals not to take? Well, there's many, many causes, uh, but mainly it's it's bacteria. And getting rid of all the bacteria in this tooth structure can be a very challenging uh, situation for us. So, um, you know, there's, there's, uh, Root canals, you know, a lot of people just say, well, I got my root canal, I should be good the rest of my life. And yeah, we, you know, that's our intention, but sometimes they, they don't take. And uh, so that's what you have to do. And the other option is, is to take the tooth out and put a, a dental implant in. Um, that's becoming a, a, another option that's uh, pretty viable now. Um, so those are your two options. Um, I can't see that. I see this all the time, but I, I'm seeing it more and more where root canals just aren't taking, and um, um, or we're finding more of them through uh, dental technologies that weren't there in the past. So um, that's kind of my second part on the root canals and kind of what what happens after root canals. And um, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.